So the plank is one of those exercises that is absolutely crucial if you're looking for overall strength and overall health of the core, right? The abs, the posterior chain. And so what a lot of people tend to do when they are exercising their abs is sit-ups, but sit-ups can actually cause a pretty serious compression in the spine, which over time can actually lead to disc injury. And so if we're looking to keep our body healthy, we wanna make sure that we are not doing that many sit-ups, if any, and we're moving more towards some of the more controlled movements like crunches or especially what we're gonna talk about today, which is the plank. Now, I believe the plank is one of the best ab exercises and should be included in every single ab workout that you do. And really when we're thinking about the plank, we're thinking about four specific cues. So cue number one is gonna be focusing on keeping that core tight and straight. A lot of people tend to kick their butt in the air. A lot of people tend to sag their hips, right? And so once we have that, cue number two is gonna be driving the feet back. This is gonna allow ourselves to basically straighten out even more. So a lot of people tend to just balance on the balls of their feet. We wanna actually drive our heels back to straighten out. Cue number three is actually gonna be pushing into the ground so that we raise a little bit. And then cue number four is gonna be pulling the elbows towards the toes. So let's put it all together here. So first of all, we obviously wanna make sure that we are straight. When it comes to the actual position, our hands and our arms should actually be in a 90 degree angle. So our elbow should be directly below, below our shoulder. And then obviously our feet are gonna be kicked straight back. So if you come here, this is gonna be about that position. Now I like to keep my hands close. If you like to straighten your hands, that's fine. I kinda like to just have them at an angle. Position number one is gonna be making sure that your core is tight and your body is straight. So that means interior tilting that pelvis. That means squeezing your butt cheeks, squeezing your hamstrings, thighs, squeezing your core, and making sure that you're in a straight line. Again, you're not sagged, your butt's not up, you're in a very tight, safe, straight position. Cue number two is driving those heels back. Again, you can even kind of see a little bit how I straighten out even more when I drive those heels back. Cue number three is gonna be pushing into the ground. We don't wanna be sagging here where our shoulder blades or our elbows are uh, our shoulders are coming towards our ears or even like dipping up. Of course, keeping our head straight. We don't want to have our neck up. We don't have, want to have our neck down. And then once we're pushing into the ground, we want to pull our elbows to our feet. Now that last one is the one that people miss the most and they tend to just kind of calmly sit in the plank position. But when you start to pull, it actually puts a lot more pressure in a good way on the core to uh, fight that movement, right? To, to really pull in like we're doing a crunch. And so when you start to do that, you're gonna notice if you've just been kind of sitting there in the plank rather than pulling the core in, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult and you won't be able to hold it as longer, but you're actually gonna find that you're gonna be able to progress more in the long term. And so again, four cues. Number one, obviously getting in position first. Number one is keeping that core, that back, that glutes, the, the hamstrings, everything straight. Two is driving those heels back. Three is pushing into the ground. Four is pulling the elbows towards the feet. And obviously when you do these, you wanna set a timer, but make sure that you're staying tight, you're making sure your body's safe, and you're getting it in. So that's the plank, guys. If you have been working on your fitness for a while and you've been kind of inconsistent and haven't really been able to successfully see results, Make sure you check out the free course in the description of this video. In it, we walk you through a little bit why you haven't seen results yet, what you can do to actually see results, and then we give you some next steps to get out there and take some action. So with that being said, make sure to subscribe if you're looking for more awesome ways to simplify your fitness. And of course, as always, make sure to eat smart, move more, sleep deep, and be grateful for this moment. I'll see you in the next video.